Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. Now in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create multiple storyboards and connect them using a Segway when you're building a UI kit application. So I'm going to select the app. Let's go to next. You can call this anything you want. I'm just going to call it multiple storyboards. And I'm not going to use SIF UI. I'm going to use storyboard app and then let's go ahead and say next and then desktop is fine too. Okay, there we go. So when we create the app, it already comes with one storyboard, which is called main storyboard. And if I launch the storyboard, it's just going to show you that, you know, the view from the storyboard, uh, the iPhone, and we can manipulate the storyboard if you want to. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to change my phone to iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this is our first or our main storyboard. I can click on different things. I can click on the view and I can change the background color to something else if I want to. That's perfectly fine. I can also press the add button to add a new label. So let me go ahead and add a button or something. And that button will allow us to go from point A to point B. The color of the button, let's change it to something else. White. Okay and that's fine let's change this to say go to detail screen okay and i will just put some missing constraints so that we can look at that button in the center of the screen now another question that we must answer is that why would you even have multiple storyboards now one of the reasons that you will have multiple storyboard is if you have one giant storyboard, and if you open the storyboard as a source, behind the scene, the storyboard is an XML file. So if you have one giant storyboard and many of your team members are working on just one storyboard, there is a very good chance that you will get into merge conflicts and a lot of different issues because every time you add something to the storyboard or you change something in the storyboard, one storyboard, you will see that this file is getting changed. So that's the reason that you should have multiple storyboards uh, and that will allow you to create like a bounded context of the things that you're working on. So I might have one storyboard that will have the registration and the login but I might have a different storyboard for a checkout process and I might have a different storyboard for the listing of the products. Now, I'm not advocating the idea that you should create one storyboard per view. Uh, that's just kind of crazy. I think the whole reason for and the name, the storyboard, is to tell a story about a particular context that you're working on. So if I'm working on, on the login and registration, so maybe that storyboard will consist of four or five different views uh, and view controllers. If I'm working on a checkout, then I will have four or five different views for that storyboard and so on. All right. But anyways, so we have this one storyboard and let's just say that this is our main storyboard and we want to go to a completely different, like a checkout storyboard um, from this screen. So let's go ahead and first change this and say checkout. Okay, so we'll go to checkout screen. Let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks like. Uh, I mean, hopefully it will just look like what we're looking at. And then we can work on how to add a multiple or a different storyboard. Uh, there might be some weak constraints and all that. We're not gonna fix that part, but we're just gonna look at if we can see the button or not. That's the most important part for us to just see the button displayed on the middle of the screen. All right, so here we go. We're gonna launch the app. And since this is our home screen, this is our starting point. We should be able to see this screen with a different background. And there we go, we have a button. Doesn't really do anything, but still we have a button. That's great. Now let's go ahead and add another storyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a file. Search over here for storyboard. Okay, there is storyboard and we can go ahead and say next. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and say checkout because this particular storyboard will have will tell a story of the checkout process. Once again, we are presented with kind of like a clean storyboard and you can see that it contains one view. Uh, this can be our checkout view. So let me go ahead and change the whatever the background is to something else. And we can even add like a label or something in the middle. And that can say checkout. Now, keeping in mind that this storyboard is completely different uh, from our main storyboard. All right, but we need to find a way to get to this particular screen through the use of our first storyboard. We already have a view controller. Let's go to the main and make sure that this view controller is set correctly. You can see that the class is set up to view controller and we already have a view controller file. So this means that the main storyboard contains one screen and the view controller is set to the correct file. But for checkout, we still have one view screen, but there is no view controller behind it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add another file over here. And I will say checkout view controller. And we can go ahead and implement that part. So I can go ahead and say checkout view controller, which will be a UI view controller. And that's pretty much it. All right. You can see that there's some problem with the screen and everything. I mean, these are just constraints. So probably we can fix these constraints later on, but uh, this is not really associated with what we are trying to do. Another thing is that the view controller is unreachable. So in our checkout, there's no way to reach this, which we're gonna fix in a moment. Let's go to checkout again, sorry, and make sure that the view controller is set to the checkout view controller. We have set that up. Now what we want to do is we want to go from our main view, uh, the main storyboard to the checkout view controller, which is in a completely different storyboard. So let's go ahead and add another thing and that's called the storyboard reference. Since the checkout is a completely separate storyboard, we have to use the actual checkout reference to get the thing working. The first thing it's asking is the storyboard ID. All right, so that's the important part. You can see that there was a storyboard ID, you can assign it. And in the storyboard reference part, it's saying that it's gonna to refer to what? So we can say checkout. And then we can say reference ID, the initial view controller. But the most important part is the actual saying over here that this is a uh, checkout. So this means that we, this particular storyboard will be using the checkout. Now I can click this and uh, not, uh, not command click, uh, sorry, control click to there. And we can say show, uh, just show is fine, which means it's gonna pop up a model. Now we're still not really done because we still have a couple of different things missing. We are saying that this storyboard reference is referring to the checkout, but we are still missing a couple of different things like the reference ID over here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say simply checkout view controller. That is the reference ID that I should be pointing out. Let's copy that. And now I'm going back over here to our checkout and we will find a way to set the ID somewhere I always forget that where it is, but let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we have the view over here. We have the tag over here. Maybe I'm not even selecting the correct one. Okay. All right, so right over here where this thing storyboard ID, we're just gonna put this one up, the checkout view controller. That is the storyboard ID that we have given, remember, in over here in the, right over here you can see reference ID. So that's the storyboard ID, all right? And now let's go ahead and run this. Now, if I click on go to checkout screen, I can actually go to the checkout, which is contained in a completely separate storyboard. 
And that's it. So in this particular video, you learn about how you can create multiple storyboards and then you can even perform a segue between two different storyboards. All right. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my videos and want to support my channel, then check out my brand new book, which is called the Surviving the Coding Bootcamp. Now, this book is for everyone, whether you're attending a coding bootcamp or you're a self-taught developer. It has a lot of stuff that is going to help you, uh, micro tasks, as well as job interviews, asking for a raise and a lot more. So if you are a developer, this is a must book to have. This is available as an ebook on Amazon as well as the paperback books. So I will have a link right there in the description for you to use. And also, if you're interested in checking out my other Udemy courses, you can see that I have a lot of different Udemy courses. The link to all these courses is right there in the YouTube description. So please use those links and uh, enjoy these courses ranging from core data to Swift UI to test driven development, combine RX Swift, augmented realities, MVVM design, a lot more. So definitely check it out and thank you again for your support.